Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another The Arsenio Your Bunch Show podcast. Man, I want to just get into this, man. You guys heard the podcast yesterday. I had a conversation with one of my friends, and then another idea came about. And another situation that I was able to pinpoint and say, is what she's saying true? Now, I love her like I do my next breath. But, guys, when it comes to relationships, there's only one way you could go. It's either yes or it's no. You can't force something upon someone. Or you cannot force someone to do something that they don't want to do. Or that they can't do. You know, back in 2004, I liked this girl by the name of Maria Ventura. Right? I remember I started dating her. You know, I asked her out over the phone. And she said yes. So Monday came along, Tuesday came along, Wednesday came along. But by the time Wednesday came along, she became very distant. And then, uh, fr- you know, friends from middle school, they were saying, listen, we saw her walking with another guy by the name of Devin in the hallways holding his hand. And I'm like, what? No way. Sophomore year of high school. Can you believe this? Seeing your girlfriend or knowing that your girlfriend was walking, holding hands with another guy didn't make sense, right? And so it just kept getting, you, you know, it just kept progressing. And so... By the time, and I can't remember when this happened. This had to happen probably around uh, December, if I'm not mistaken. Because I remember this is when Carlos was there. He was predicting everything on the phone. He just asked me an amazing question, by the way, that I'm going to have to tackle on Instagram TV coming up soon. Or if I hadn't already tackled it. And he said, Arsenio, I want you to call her and ask her the questions. And it was a Friday. Damn it, I can't remember when it was exactly. It had to be after my birthday. And I had... To, yep, I remember now. Okay, it was after my birthday because that's when I started developing crazy feelings for her. And then right before school ended, you know, that was the termination of everything. So I don't remember speaking to her probably for about a year and a half after that. But anyways, in saying that, again, she was like in the medical program and, you know... And not, you know, just all bullshit ass details aside, I remember Carlos was sitting there. This was right before school ended. And I was playing Fight Night. Remember Fight Night 2004? That's when it had come out, right? And so I'm playing Fight Night with Carlos. And Carlos was like, you know, what's wrong with you? I was like, man, you know, uh, I, I think, you know, Maria, she doesn't like me. And I'm just in turmoil, guys. And she put me through this to end 2003. And she did this again to me, you know, in May of 2004. So I'm like, oh my God, man, I don't understand this. Why is she, and then I called her, I was like, dude, were you or were you not walking down the hall holding hands with Devin? And she's like, yeah, I was. And Carlos wasn't even listening to the conversation and she, and he was literally like, it was telepathy. Cause he's like, she's going to say this. She's going to say this. She's going to say this. She's like, she's fucking lying. Don't speak to her anymore. And I said, you know what, Maria, I'm just going to let you go. And I hung up on her. He's like, Arsenio, fuck her. Fuck her, man. Yeah, man, fuck her. Fuck her. I was like, okay, well, what am I going to do now? I'm so broken. He's like, listen, it's time for you to move on. And I said, oh, my God. He said, you cannot force her to do something that she doesn't want to do. And I said, oh, man. So going back to another situation that has happened in the past, there was a girl. Now, remember, you guys already heard the story about her yesterday. Well, now this is the follow up. So, I listened to one of my friends, love her dearly, okay, and she was like, Arsenio, talk to her and tell her how you really feel. Stop bullshitting with these gambits. I said, okay, fine, I'm not going to do these gambits anymore. So, I said, you know what, this is how I feel. And she responded in a really weird way, right? And she was like, oh, you know, I'm sorry, but I really, L. what what did she say? I really L-M-F-A-O at this. That means she really laughed at this, laughing my fucking ass off, basically. And I'm like, well, that doesn't really feel weird. My instinct was telling me, Arsenio, get the, cut it, cut it, cut it. But I told my friend, and she's like, okay, we'll get to know her. It's all about developing feelings. And I'm like, well, that's a completely different perspective because in the past, I'm like, well, I'm not even going to try because if someone doesn't like me, they just don't like me. I know how this story is out here in Thailand. No, this isn't a limit in belief. This is what I've experienced. It's not my assumption. It's what I've experienced. If I like someone and they don't like me back, cut that bullshit off. So, I'm like, okay, well, you know what? 
okay, so yeah, let's, she's like, well, and, and, and I'm like, well, what, what does that mean? And at the time she told me, she was like, oh, well, you know, uh, I don't have feelings for you. We barely talk, right? And I'm like, okay, well, I could take this one or two ways. I don't have feelings for you. That's kind of like the biggest smack in the face, right? But other people would say, oh, I don't have feelings for you. Um, okay, that's why I want to get to know you. Let's go out for dinner. And I'm like, oh, uh, well, okay, if you approach any situation, you know, or any, like, relationship or anything at the time, as, uh, you know, saying, hey, let's get to know each other. I don't have feelings for you yet, but maybe I can develop feelings for you. Yeah, because that's how, before you meet someone, okay, you might start off not having feelings for that particular someone at all. Such as me not having feelings for that girl by the name of Samantha back in 2000 and 2001 when she liked me. But then came 2002, the summer of 2002, and I developed feelings for her. She no longer had feelings for me. It's crazy, right? It's a crazy-ass story. So, me and my historical self, I would say, okay, she don't got feelings for me. Forget it. Let's just, get, let, let, let's just bomb this right now. Because... You cannot force someone or something down someone's throat. I'm not talking about from a a crazy sexual way. No, I'm talking about you can, I mean, even if you have a ridiculous amount of feelings, just know that even if you try, try, try with this specific someone, it's not going to work. Feelings got to be leveled. Like you got to go into the situation either 0, 0, 10, 10, 20, 20, 30, 30, 40, 40, 50, 50. If you go in 100, 0, guys, that is going to be a failure. Now, I mean, you could probably point out a relationship and say, oh, but this is what happened to me in my past. I'm just saying, if you have a ridiculous amount of feelings for someone and they don't have anything for you, they're going to be more prone to just completely fuck you over. So then I'm like, okay, let me tell her a little bit about my life story at the time, right? And so I sent her like eight voice messages. All she responded with was a single sentence. And then it went back to what had happened in January, those feelings that I had. That January of that year, right? This is like the beginning of 2019. And it went back to January of 2019 and how I felt when I first met her. And I was like, oh my God, you know, I have so many feelings for her. Then we exchanged details. And then I felt that the energy and my level and my level of feelings, everything had gone down. Like I didn't have those feelings for her anymore. Because she, I I don't know, it just felt like the energy was off. Like she didn't care. And that instinct was right. Because three months later, fast forward in it, three months later, you know, in April of 2019, there it was. I'm like, oh my God. Well, this is really weird. Because here I am thinking about her doing this and doing that. And, and wanting to develop these feelings and try to get back in touch with her after I bl- unwittingly blocked her little messaging app. I finally found her. And I'm like, oh, my God, I got to hurry up and express and tell this girl how much I, re- you know, really feel about her. Through the gambits, okay, fucking gambits didn't work. Told her straight forward. She's like, hey, I really don't have feelings for you. Right then and there, I would say, okay, forget it. Why? Because if I go into a relationship saying, well, I have feelings for you, you know, let's, you know, let's have a dinner or let's have a drink sometime. And she's like, yeah, okay. That's all she said. It just felt like I was constantly initiating. And I feel like if someone... Is at least a bit interested in you, they would at least say, Yes, let's have drinks. When are you free? That's a follow up. But if someone says, Yeah, okay, that means they're just like, uh, I don't really care. Now, is it how I approach the situation to begin with? The very jokingly and uh, feminine and all that crazy? Perhaps, perhaps. Or maybe there is a time where I need to just stop joking around when it comes to relationships, but it's not a joke. I. I I use these different things to level the awkwardness, these different types of gambits. So the first time I had met her, I was like, yeah, she's my girlfriend. And then we joked, we laughed, and then we talked after that, then we exchanged line details. And she told me right off the bat at the beginning of January of 2019, yeah, I really have feelings for you. You know, when I first met you, you really, da, da, da. she had the same feelings. But three months later, well, it was Arsenio's fault, okay. Arsenia still has feelings for her, but now she's like, yeah, uh, we don't really, yeah, I don't have feelings for you. Completely different from what it was three months prior. So, 
If you and I sent those eight messages and all I got back was a sentence, that's an indicator. That's the biggest red flag saying, Arsenio, just give this shit up. Now, I'm going to go right now and I'm going to go back to some messages that my friend had sent me. And let's see what she says because – or let's see what she had said at the time. So – Yeah, well, you know, what she said at the time, I completely forgot, but now I got the message in front of me, and I told her, I said, you know what, this is very frustrating, because even going back to what had happened 2018, when I met this girl from China, right, and she was at the gym, oh my god, we hit it off, her personality, we were joking, she was so in tune, she was such an effective listener, feelings went up very quickly, Right, And I'm over here trying to send her messages and do this. And guess what? She sent me like, you know, we got on a call for about 30 to to 40 minutes, hit it off. And again, she had to go back to China, unfortunately. But me, it just felt like I was constantly trying to like message her and, you know, try to send voice messages. And then I'm like, okay, let me get get another gambit out there and say, um, you know, and and one of my friends were going to be going to China to meet her. And I was like, hey, tell her I said, what's up, man, and that we have to meet and that I miss her, blah, 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 blah. And apparently she was just not having it whatsoever. And I said, oh, okay. See, that's another instance when Arsenio likes her and she never likes me back. No, I don't hold this against myself. No, I'm not devaluing myself. I know exactly who I am, but I'm just telling you the story of Asian women in or on the continent of Asia and what I've endured over the last seven years. And possibly going back even further to those college days, whereas I liked specific individuals and they just didn't like me. That's probably just how it is. So... If you say, Arsenio, so what did you do after that message? That was the end. I'm not going to initiate. I wasn't going to initiate anymore. And of course, because she doesn't have feelings. And even from a friendship perspective, you should realize, like, if I send those voice messages to someone else from another continent, let's say someone from South Africa, they're going to respond, like, with a long message. If I sent that to one of my friends back the, uh, in the to- uh, at the time, uh, Deepta, okay? If I sent her these messages explaining to her, you know, my life story and everything, she would send me a probably three to eight minute voice message back. She's from India. That's also considered part of Asia. But again, I'm not going to point to continent, you know, continents, countries, nationalities, uh, cultures, all the way narrow it down to just women. No. I'm just going to say, from my perspective, guys, don't time waste yourself. You can't force something upon someone. If you're coming into a situation where you really like someone and that someone doesn't like you, guys, it's just going to end in unbelievable disappointment. It really is. Yes, there were times that I liked a specific individual and another individual liked me. There was another time I had a friend by the name of Y. You know, I developed feelings for her. She had developed feelings for me. And one month, she's like, oh, you know, well, you know, we went out that time and I just don't know if we're going in the right direction, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Okay. We just stopped talking for probably up, almost up to a year. Now she's going to be getting married to. Fantastic. I got, you know, and we're friends now. Now, that's a very rare, you know, that's very rare. But again, now. Arsenio, the old self, old self Arsenio, he would wait two to four weeks and then he would block people. So, yes, referring back to the girl who I had that situation with, I ended up blocking her. Okay, because I'm like, well, she didn't send me a message. No, good morning. No, what's up, Arsenio? No. Hey, let's meet up. I'm not going to initiate. I'm sorry. I'm not. It's just if you care, you would initiate, too. I'm not going to sit there with my hand on my chin just waiting for you. Now, if someone is interested, they're going to send messages. If they're not, they're not. If they're not interested, they're not going to fuck with you. If you send 10 messages and they send one sentence, get rid of that shit. One of my friends said, oh, it was an a- it's an Asian culture. Because a girl from Japan would also do this too. I could send her fucking five paragraphs. You know, there was another girl that I had met not too long ago, as a matter of fact, you know, and I'm over and she's in it's crazy because she actually was living in Bangkok and I'm over here sending her all these messages and she would just send, OK. And then that was the end. I'm like, are you kidding me? How the hell does that happen? And so that's why I'm like, you know what? This is why 
I don't pressure myself, but it was really good because it was a great peace of mind at the time. I was always thinking about her until she finally pulled that stunt and she said, eh, I'm not really interested. And I'm like, oh, great. So now I can move on. I have a peace of mind now. You're no longer on my conscience. You're never going to be in my dreams anymore because I've already resolved everything with you. So thank you very much. That's what I was saying at the time. So guys, this is your thing. For all the gentlemen or the women out there, if you're going into anything 100, like if you have ridiculous amounts of feelings for someone and that someone's like, oh, well, I don't even have feelings for you. I mean, are you really going to just like buy time and say, hey, let's try to get this out. OK, let's uh, l- let's have a dinner sometime. Or let's have a drink. And she's like, yeah, and that's all they say. That's all him or her says or that's all he or she says. I just d- don't even bother if they're interested in even being your fucking friend. They'll send you a message. If they don't, just let that shit go. I'm your host as always over and out.